Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and today, thanks to uh, uh, Bandai Namco setting me up with the ability to uh, check it out, we are going to do a, a little bit of a preview of the Rose and Zulu. Uh, it is, of course, a 704 star. It is space compatible, usable on ground or space, so it gets a, f a few bonuses for space. Um, has 25,500 uh, hit points, uh, 24 ballistic resistance, 30 beam resistance, 24 melee resistance, 38 range strength, 32 melee strength, uh, 145 movement speed. It is a support, so uh, top speed, high speed maneuver, 220, that's decent. Thruster gauge, 75, and turn speed, 75. Uh, 17 close range slots, 20 medium slots, 15 long range slots, that's not bad. Um, its main weapon is a three barrel mega particle cannon, a uh, large claw for its melee. It also has the shield's uh, three barrel mega particle cannon, which has some special abilities here. Um, has uh, two different versions of incom uh, claws, a single and a double basically and the Psycho Jammer Rose Bits, so may not be what they're called. I may be confusing that with uh, Gundam Rose, but, you know, but that's sure what they look like. Um, but yeah, hold down the attack button in the direction of an MS to select a target and release to deploy a field around the unit. unit. When used on enemy MS already surrounded by a field, heat rate will not be consumed. Um, yeah, and apparently it will cause you to lose hit points if you're already a new type destroyer and block you from activating it, along with blocking any of other of your uh, Psychomu weaponry. Um, I am going to put the pincers here, and the Psycho Jammer, I guess, up here. I'm never good with setting up the eight-part quick swaps, and uh, I'll, put, I'll put parts on it in a minute, but... Uh, Okay, a level 2 high-performance radar, so a radar range of 400 meters. Observational data link, so while it's on the field, uh, allies can see enemy hit points. That is a severely underrated skill, I feel like, because you really can tell uh, when you don't have it. It uh, has uh, high-speed aerospace gimbal level 2, so larger pitch angle uh, in space, so... I don't think you can fire quite straight up, but it's close. Um, Anti-stealth level 2, so nullifies stealth level 2 and lower, and uh, diminishes level 3 stealth radius by 50 meters. Uh, flight control uh, programs uh, level 2, so let you uh, boost and uh, do other things in midair. Leg shock absorber, so reduced stress on your legs when you land. 30% uh, less after jumping, 15% after evasive maneuver, uh, boosting that is, and 1% uh, percent, uh, quicker recovery time. AMBAC level 2, which is standard for space compatible suits. Uh, yeah, so moving in the same direction at the end of high speed space movement transitions into cruising movement without decelerating. And yeah, that is, uh, that's important because if you don't have that little braking, uh, movement it's basically the equivalent of balancers in space so and gives it three points higher uh, turning i believe in space as well melee composite system uses a melee attack or tackle to cancel hard landings after jumping or high speed movement allows for a two uh, attack melee combo damage is reduced during combo attacks so it's basically balancer and combo controller combined because on these things that have a basically full skill list, they kind of had to do that. That's something that happened at the end of GBO1 is too. They started getting hybrid skills in there just because they introduced so many new skills they needed the space. So, level 3 forced injectors, so fairly boost efficient uh, maneuvering. Uh, damage control level 1 reduces staggers when hit consecutively by attacks without suppressive effects. Um... Defense mode level 3. Press the touchpad to enter defensive stance, which reduces damage taken by 60% and negates stagger, but also drains thrusters. Can't be manually disabled temporarily after negating attacks. Usable during hard landings, when stopped, or while moving. So basically, you can break into your guard at any time with that. 
uh, left arm equipment buffer. So if it hit, it's you know it's another one because it's a weapon and it's uh, the shield is not a shield, so it has 15% damage reduction. Back add on buffer 15% de uh, defense if it hits those uh, the funnel racks, I think. Uh, beam diffusion shield when using focus fire with a weapon installed in your shield you know, the one. Damage from beam shots hitting your shield are reduced by 70%, and any reaction is either reduced or cancelled. Damage inflicted by the installed weapon, as well as focus speed, temporarily increase while this effect is active. So it's basically, you know, it's kind of the same thing that the some of the uh, guard raids have been getting around the 400s, 450s. If you uh, successfully block a shot, you get a uh, temporary stat boost on your weapon and also it charges faster. Uh, Psycho Jammer Control System. Damage dealt to favorable categories is reduced, while damage taken by unfavorable categories is increased for enemies caught in the field by Psycho Jammer. In other words, um, it loses its type advantage and uh, loses its type defense, basically. Um, or at least some of it. Also disables enemy use of Psycho Mew weapons and NTD and reduces mobility. Deals damage briefly to targets with active NTD. This effect will not incorporate effect time reduction via custom parts. Uh, field cannot be deployed against enemies with psych immune equipment jamming capabilities. Okay, so... Okay, I... I'm trying to think what has psych immune equipment jamming capabilities, and the only thing that comes to mind is uh, NTD or this, so I wonder if they're saying you can't use it against another Rosen Zulu. But uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how to parse that, so I have to think about it. Um, high performance counter system: executing counter with less than 50% hit points triggers a special powerful counter. Standard four star stuff. All right, let's throw parts on this. Oh yeah, that's right. This this account being what it is, I don't have a lot of parts, so. Well, we'll throw on everything we can, which is two, because you can't have two composite armor types. I have type A from uh, the Nightingale and type C. Uh, repair tools, hit points recovery increases by uh, 10%. Ballistic and melee resistance both go up by four. If the enhancement list re reaches level three, ballistic and melee increase three more. After reaching level six, ballistic and melee resistance increase three more. Multiple composite armor parts cannot be used. Okay, yeah, so this one protects against ballistic and melee. Uh, let's take a look at the enhancement list before we uh, just start l taking a look at this and how its various skills work. Okay, at the first level, it has anti-beam armor reinforcement, one extra point of beam defense. Uh, ADF CS level 1, which is ex one extra point of ranged mod, bringing it up to 39. Frame reinforcement, an extra uh, 100 hit points, so 25,600. Complex expansion slot, which, you know, on this account isn't going to mean much to people who've been playing long enough to collect as many custom parts as possible. It's going to mean a lot more. But adds one slot to each of the three uh, types. If you spend to break the first limit, um, you can get plus four, five ranged modifier, so bring it up to a total of 44 without parts. And Emergency Range Defense System reduces uh, damage from ranged weapons by 5% when you're knocked down. It's not a bad setup. Alright, let's go out into the trenches and try some stuff out. Let's see. Um, Alright, please load. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, yeah, main weapon does not charge. It does seem to have a decent amount of ASL. Fairly, uh, fairly spry suit. Oh, I do not have it set up not to fire through the, uh, controller. I gotta remember to do that. Oh, well. So you'll be getting some extra sound effects, and I apologize. Okay, so it can fire about three times in a row without overheating. Does decent damage. Here is the single, uh, okay, the single one is just a, a, a claw. I thought it was going to be a uh, rain, a, you know, beam attack, but no, it looks like it is probably a ranged melee attack. So that's an interesting choice. I like that. Here's the pincers. 
pretty good damage, very fast, don't overheat in one shot, so... Yeah, they, they act very fast and they and they stun, so... Build stun seems decent on the beam guns, too, so... Okay, that is a Gerbera Tetra, I have disadvantage against that, let's uh, negate that. Okay, Psycho Jammer... Okay, that has to be fairly close to uh, work. And here is the big shield gun, which... Ooh, that makes some noise. Okay, the, uh, the Psycho Jammer lasts about long enough to charge your big gun, and not uh, not much longer. Gun can also be fired uncharged, uh, does about half as much damage, has a much more direct attack, though. Looking at its charged attack, I have a feeling it's going to be a thing like the Kshatriya, where, yeah, you have to have, like, a really good idea of your range to get as much out of this as possible. Um, let's go back to that GPO-2 now that it's respawned and take a look at the melee. Okay, so... That's the neutral. Um, that's left, that's right. Basically, it kind of does the big slaps for all of those. And it has the, uh, basically has a uh, two-hit punch that I think is very similar to the Zizulu's animation. Maybe not. I'm not sure where I've seen that animation before, but I think I have. Either way, it's like a side swing and then a lunge, so that is... it's not bad. It's one of those things where, again, I, this is going to be a thing where positioning is very important to get the most out of everything. I'm going to find another target here and see if I can figure out the best possible range for the shield. And then we'll take a look at the counter animations, and then just do a mission in... Uh, well, that's not it. I have a feeling a little closer, a little farther. Let's take a look. Boy, that's loud. Put my thumb on the scale here a little bit. 10,350. There we go. Yeah, so... Yeah, so about that range. Let's see if I can uh, replicate that. About here? Let's call it here. Yes, very nice. All right. Now, let's find somebody else. I have counters turned on, so first we'll show the neutral counter, and then we will do the, uh, uh, do the, uh, uh, or the standard counter, not neutral, standard, and then the fancy one. Here's the standard. Just a kick. And now, your MSHP... Let's go down to 30%. That should work. One thing I'll note is it does not, unlike a lot of things, almost everything in fact, not everything, but a lot of things at 700, it does not have any kind of resonance skill or any skill that activates at critical health. Um, it does have the defense mode there, but uh, which, yeah, you can come out of a boost with that. Um, I'll try it after I show off the other uh, counter. Okay, nice. Yeah, so a bunch of beams for that. But yeah, you can use it coming out of a uh, out of movement. You can use it coming out of a jump. You can uh, you can use it coming out of boost. So yeah, it is. It. I don't think it's the first defense mode to be this versatile, but it is definitely one of the better ones I've seen because you can use it anytime. Like, as long as you take your uh, finger off the boost button while you're holding the uh, the touchpad, it will start boosting. Or it will start blocking, I should say. So, yeah, that is, a that is the overview of its stats. We are going to bail out here and do a simulator mission because, uh, uh, yeah, just because. Easiest way to uh, get a chance to show this off. Also, uh, internal speaker off, so... There we go. Yeah. Uh, apologies for uh, the extra noise. I forgot to turn that off last time I played uh, this account and just... Ah, for the uh, for the Nightingale preview. So, yeah, forgot. Okay, and... um, You know, I think we'll do both this and maybe the Elmeth because... Uh, I have not used it in space yet, and that's uh, supposedly where it excels, so 
the uh, same uh, simulators as before so single player decline ranking and yep I'm gonna take the Rose and Zulu in and we're gonna shoot down a bunch of goofs in a barrel and, and a fruits of course but you know ground type mobile suits um, for the record, I did get G-Frame FA Volume 5 today. I uh, don't have a lot to uh, uh, add to it. I um, haven't put any of them together yet. I did find out one useful thing if you're importing G-Frame. Okay, that's got... Did that take out three of them? I think it took out at least a couple. I think it did take out all three. Wow. But uh, let's see if I can do that again. Beams. No, but I did hit two of them. That's good. And yeah, the uh, big claw for you. I need to look that. I, I want to look that up after this and before we do the next one and see if it is ranged melee. Because I don't know, just ranged melee is uh, is just one of those things I tend to like in uh, this. Just you know, a fairly exotic weapon concept there. Like it's the equivalent of saying you're throwing a knife, which is why the you know. Probably one of the first ranged melee attacks was the Moon Gundam, which is throwing a knife. But uh, let's try this again. Let's see if I can hit at least two or three. Nope, they moved. Oh well. But yeah, as you can see, does good damage to basically everything. Um, let's... Ow. Would you stop? Okay, the Psycho Jammer can be deployed while boosting, something I forgot to check before. Good damage there. Beams to you. Let's see. I don't really care, you know, since I've already gotten the rewards. I, I don't really care if I uh, get this under three minutes or not, so we'll see. Um, beams. Eh, okay damage. Again, I think I'm a little too far away. It's not going to be an issue with this Afrique Custom barreling uh, down on me. Unfortunately, uh, we'll have to wait for the Elmeth to... Okay, my aim is an issue, but that's always been uh, the case. Um, but uh, we'll have to wait for the Elmeth stage to potentially see some of the beam defense uh, and focus time upgrades, because, of course, I uh, do not have... Uh, you know, nothing here has a, beam, has a ranged beam weapon, so... Um, let's see... Beams to you. Beams to you. Oh yeah, and I can of course use the simpler version to just be done. There we go. Three to go. Big beam shield up. There is the Afrit Noct, which I'd rather not have throw weird knives at me. I missed that by a country mile. Um, for you. And that. And that. Okay. Two to go charge the laser yeah it's pretty good so I'm you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how this uh, does in real combat we'll see that hopefully you know if any uh, of I haven't gotten it on my main account but if any of my friends uh, get a copy I'm sure uh, I'm sure somebody will uh, have a video for me and if not I'll get it eventually um, that is to say you know no pressure no pressure at all um, beams to you, and that is the round. Yeah, we're over time. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I like it. Feels good. Relatively fast. I need to make more use of the defense skills. I think that's something especially, you know, might help me with the L method if my timing is good. We'll see if it is. Frequently it's not. Back to the briefing room. But we're going to take, uh, going to take one more uh, look here. Uh, or we're going to do the one more mission. We're going to try and fight the Elmeth and see if I can uh, do it. And let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. I uh, managed to do it with the uh, full armor double Zeta in 5 minutes and 39 seconds. So we'll, we'll try the same here. I don't, I don't care about ranking. We'll just do this. So space. Um, that's right. It's sorted by obtention. And there, which you know, not a, not a particularly common word, but yeah, just you know, order order obtained. Yeah, I gotta get more custom parts on this account, really. All right, let's go. Let's see what we can do. 
Yeah, so we will fight this with two gun cannons and a hyper-advanced super suit from the future. Begin the mission. And... Let's see... Oh yeah, there's Char. We can fight him now. Here, have that. Given that his Gelgug has type advantage on me, that's a good thing to be doing. Just keep my weapons rotating so nothing overheats, hopefully. Rose bits will be a while coming back. I believe Lala comes in at 50% HP for Char, so we're almost there. Um, have incomes. There we go. I was right. Okay, I'm going to start charging that shield now, so hopefully it will block a couple bit attacks for me. We'll see. I think I mentioned before, there was a brief glorious period where uh, Diamond Comics was distributing for, I think, Bluefin or Proto Bluefin in like 2005 or 6, and they got the MSI Elmeth. Ooh, boy, is that not working for me right now. Um, they got the MSI Elmeth in for $15, and you bet I bought that. I, ha I have it. It is, you know... A fairly unusual and expensive thing at this point, because I don't think most people uh, got that. Let's see, does that prevent the Elmeth from using its bits? It does not. I'm not surprised, the Elmeth being what it is, but... Can I guard? I can guard, but it's not going to be enough to keep me alive. No, not in the least. Okay, yeah, this one may be a little bit of a slog, too. I'm not doing particularly well here, but I can keep trying. Where is Elmeth? There it is. Okay, fire the big shield beam. And minimal damage. Guarding. Okay. Ow. Boy, that was a lot of damage. Um, let's... Ow, 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 ow. It's gonna kill me. Yep. Yeah, frontal assault against this is not a good idea. So, I'm betting that... Let's see, if, that's, if this is ranged uh, melee, the income claw should do pretty well for me. 2485, don't think it did much to the stun gauge, but let's see. Of course, you know, the issue with the fancy shield for uh, the Elmeth remain, or for the Rosen Zulu remains the same uh, problem that the, uh, that the Hamahama has with its and a couple other, you know, shield defensive skills. The fact that it's not a big shield, as you can see, and if the beam attacks don't hit the shield, it doesn't count. It does not add to your defense, it does not add to your attack, it does not shorten your charge time, it just hurts you. So, that is, you know, shield positioning is something that I preached a lot in the early game, I still think it's important, but uh, with something with as you know, wide an attack range as the Elmeth, it gets to be a harder fight, as you can see. Let's see. Yeah, we are not going to make three minutes. I knew we wouldn't. Ow. But yeah, as you can see, that didn't, uh, that didn't hit the shields. That didn't hit the shields. If any beam attack hits the shields, it should give me an attack up. I should be able to see immediately that it does that. And I am getting hit by the Bombard Funnels. Naturally, it does have the same kind of attack as the, uh, uh, as the uh, words I'm out of. Uh, Kshatriya. Yeah. Big punch. Okay, 40-24 on the melee. Not bad. That's only with one of the hits hitting. And I'm dead because of a Rickdom. That's fine. We'll go back and hit them again. Stun period is over. But, yeah. You know. Like I said, unless, unless the beam attacks hit that little shield you're not going to get the benefit, so you have to be really good about positioning, and honestly, that's going to be easier against another mobile suit than it is against the Elmeth, generally. That said, people have gotten, you know, it's a skill I tend to be proud of myself, people have gotten really good at aiming around shields, oh, and there's Char, hi Char, to, uh, to, you know, murder you dead, so... Only so much I can do about that. Okay, now. So yeah, circle in this direction. Missed. 
Let's see. I was ready. I was completely ready on two of those attacks and did not connect at all. Let's see, Shar connected, as Shark as Shars tend to do. Yeah. The defense mode, which I'm not deploying very effectively, that does work from any angle. So that is that's kind of your out. That's kind of uh, you know, if you really need to actually you know stop an attack as opposed to trying to get one in, which is what I'm you know eternally trying to do in this round. Um, okay, good. It actually walked right into my attacks this time. Okay, now that's a, a useful thing. As you can see, I was able to deploy my incoms and then go right into defense mode. So that's not a bad uh, bad skill to have. Um, having Rickdoms out of my face would not be a bad skill to have either, but you can only have so much. Okay, beams to you. More beams to you. And a claw on your face. And that is it. A little bit longer than it took me with the full armor double Zeta. But the full armor double Zeta's skills, I think, are a little bit better suited for this, which is lots of damage over a very large area. This is, you know, it's a Psychomu suit, it's an Incom suit, it's a little bit more pinpoint. And, again, just like the Kshatriya's uh, charged beam, it has a very interesting and, uh, you know, very particular uh, hitbox. So that's something that uh, you may have to watch out for, but it is also uh, something that, as you saw, can hit multiple targets, so not the end of the world. Yes, the incom is uh, the single claw incom is ranged melee. So yeah, that means that basically melee attacks. If you're if you're not using a defense mode, melee attacks block everything or stop at everything. I'm pretty sure that you know if uh well let's say a, a defense mode or a dodge. Anything else, if they're boosting melee, should still stop them. If they're uh, so, that's going to be your go-to for get a uh, thing for raids that close in on you. Um, yeah, it's it's got some, and again, as fast as those incomes uh, go out, that's going to be pretty handy. So yeah, that is the Rosen Zulu. I uh, hope everybody who wants it gets it. I hope you found this useful and or interesting. And that is going to do it for this uh, special. Everybody have a good a uh, good weekend and all. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!